I'm discussing parsimony, parsimony, with a hoverbobberer. I've asked him a direct question. You know, when you get when you're using the principle of parsimony, you sort of say um, you exclude certain ridiculous possibilities when you're looking towards a goal, when you're trying to find something out. Um, you know, if I can't find my car keys, I don't go looking in the Himalayas for it. I think was what he said. And yeah, I agree. That, that you know, that's uh, as a tool. Parsimony is actually quite useful. Um, what's the tipping point, though? You know, when do we say that we know enough? There's the rub, because. I think that that I implicit in that question is another question. When do we stop thinking about what we're going to do and get on with the job at hand? And what is the job at hand? And most importantly, what do we do with dissent? in that kind of a situation. It's time to act, because using parsimony we are close enough to, for all intents and purposes, to what we want to find out about the truth. We decide when, we, when we've got enough information. There is no enough out there, phenomenally, that we can discover. There's no um, point that we can reach where we can say we know enough um, concretely. That point only exists in here. When we ourselves are satisfied. I don't see how that could, that line could be anything other than arbitrary. Because let's say we're, we continue to get more and more parsimonious. Okay. We're getting closer and closer. But really, we're closer than something wildly, di you know, divergent from um, what is almost certainly uh, accurate. In other words, my keys are probably somewhere inside my house, um, not in Tibet, but excluding certain possibilities isn't the same thing as certainty. Um, and whether or not one is any closer to certainty using parsimony, that too is an arbitrary decision that needs to be taken. Close enough, or beyond reasonable doubt, <laughs> who decides what those are? Who decides when we've arrived? when it's time to stop talking and start acting.